They were so surprised. Oh, oh my gosh. gosh. You guys, I love watching body cam footage. I'm not gonna lie, I have a weird addiction to it. It's the most interesting thing in the world to me. Oh wee I felt like I was really in on the action there. Like, good work, everybody. We got them. We got them. <laughs> and I help. Oh my god, that's... What did you just do? It's that Anthony! Sorry, what Oh, that's so funny. That's so funny. That's so annoying. <laughs> Ow, he's okay. Don't worry. Don't worry. Don't freak out. He's okay. He just did something stupid. That's, I mean, karma is a bitch. That is facts. That's the most annoying prank of all time. <laughs> I hate that. Just try to brush your teeth and somebody's leaf blowing you. No, leaf blowing. <laughs> Okay, well, you need to call your mom up here and give me your insurance card. I'm calling the police. Oh. Oh. Yeah. Thank you so much. Get your car. Oh. Wait, he's going away. He's literally just driving out of here. Yeah, like he's gone, lady. Oh, okay. No, maybe he's sticking around. Uh, no, he's gone now. Oh, boy. Wow. What the hell is wrong? You, you, you get Dude. in the car. You get in the car. You get in my car. Oh, my God. What the gosh. hell are you doing? Wow, what is he doing? He's just running away. Like, what are you doing, bro? Like, Wow, like this guy is in full up panic mode right now. I've been in, a, so I've been in like car accidents before and like one of them was actually like, it was my fault. And I like, I was full up in panic mode as well. Like I was like, oh my gosh, this is horrible. But I stayed there. You know, it's like, you gotta stay. Like you, you screwed up, it's an accident. You know, at the end of the day, like it was just a mistake. You did not mean to do it. But the second that you try doing something like that and then you hit another thing and now like the, like the dominoes are there, all credibility is gone. Like at this point, I'm like, all right, just throw the book at the kid, right? It's like, I, I don't wanna ruin your life or anything, but like you hit this car, you hit that car, you're running away now, like ridiculous. push someone into the water it's so freaking rude <laughs> wow oh that looks so nice though and fun everyone is laughing having a good time dang i want to go to the ocean I'm glad that that employee didn't just like, well, I mean, sometimes you just go, a Karen's not even worth it. Sometimes you do have to do that. But like sometimes you also gotta go, hey, don't ever do that again, okay? You don't get to just freak out, throw pizza everywhere because you didn't get your way and then just walk out of there like nothing ever happened, okay? It's not the way things work. Pizza Hut, also, how can you be angry at Pizza Hut? Just saying, it's a lot of good stuff in there. <laughs> okay. Ah, uh, not cool, not cool. Yeah, get him, get him. Yeah, there's the police car. Are we going? Are you gonna? What? Yeah, literally, literally. Okay, yeah. So the police gave him a break. They were like, okay, okay, we'll give you a breather. We'll give you a breather. You move away, you back up, then you're fine. But then he continued to go, wow. He literally saw the police officer drive by and then continued to do it anyways. Dude, you got some balls right there, dude. Like, I don't know who you are, but like, that is a little, that is a little bit too much courage. <laughs> you know, a little bit too much audacity. And then you got screwed for it, so. All right. Don't do it. Ooh. <laughs> Dang, he got caught. That's what happens. That's not 
what that's for. <laughs> I hate when people think that they can bypass everyone else. I'm like, no, we're all stuck in traffic together. They thought they got away. Oh, I saw, I saw this one. Oh, 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 hey, <laughs> oh, imagine, I would pay anything to get like a good view of their faces. I bet those officers never forgot it. <laughs> <laughs> that's the that's what happens when you make a grave mistake. It's why you don't rob people. I don't know, just a thought. <laughs> that's so funny. Wow, that would suck. That'd be so embarrassing. He stole my last cigarette while I was sleeping. Well, you shouldn't be smoking anyways. It's bad for you. So I shaved his eyebrows off while he was. Oh my! Oh my goodness gracious! Wow, okay, well that'll teach you bro. Like yeah, her pack is her pack, you know, like that is what it is. Jeez, my dude looked like, uh, I forget what his name was, but the guy from um, from Home Alone, you know, like, the, like that one dude, like the one burglar. I, I totally forget his name, somebody comment down below, but literally like exactly like that, that's what I saw. What even just happened? What did I even just watch? <laughs> I literally, <laughs> whatever just happened went right over my head. Oh, the nozzle came off? The whole, no did the nozzle come off in his truck? But I don't know how that's karma. I don't know, I'm confused. Maybe someone can explain it to me, but I simply do not understand. On this particular day, Karen decided to go to the library and told by an eyewitness account, she got some magazines and slammed them loudly on the table. And a few minutes later, they noticed that Karen was ripping out the pages in the magazines. Apparently she wanted new cooking recipes for her kitchen, but instead of just taking a photo, it's easier to rip them in her mind. Well, a librarian saw her doing this and she was not happy as you can't rip library books. But of course, Karen being Karen decided to raise her voice and get angry at the librarian. But it just so happens that there was a police officer in the library who saw the entire thing happen. And because Karen was just being so uncooperative and being an overall sack of garbage, he arrested her and took her to jail where she spent the rest of the day. That's what happens. You can't get mad at people when they're like, hey, that thing is against the rules that we've all decided on. You came to the library, understanding the rules, presumably. I reminded you of them, and you chose to yell at me. What else are we supposed to do? See you later, have a good day. <laughs> oh boy. Yeah, it's, you're done, you're done, you're done. I think it might've even hit the car too. You know, it's like that, literally, like depending on the mood that the officer is in, they could even charge you for like like attacking a police officer, you know, or like threatening them, you know, because like literally you hit a ball very hard at their vehicle. I mean, that you know, obviously you weren't trying to do that, but still, just dumb, dude, just dumb. <laughs> if you're carrying the pizza after a night out, you cannot be acting up like that. You gotta be calm, cool, collected. You have precious cargo, okay? We trusted you. You were the chosen one. You're supposed to be the responsible one. <laughs> and then, after a night out, food is important. But that's why you always order in. You order while you're on the way home, in the Uber home, that's when you order. And then it'll get there while you're waiting. You can wash your face, wash the night off, get cozy, then you can stuff your little face and have the best, worst sleep of your life. It's a science. <laughs> oh my gosh, that's why you don't use your phone while you're driving. Okay, put it down, put it away, put it in the trunk, you don't need it.
Get it away from there. Don't use your phone while you're driving. It's turned into a PSA against texting and driving. But seriously, it's not worth it, man. I ignore people for weeks when I'm not driving at all. I don't have a car and I don't reply to them. So if you're driving for 30 minutes, they're gonna understand that you didn't reply. Don't worry. <laughs> the people who I'm ignoring right now who are watching this are like, what the f Sorry, I just don't like texting, it's boring. Okay, oh my gosh. Wow, yeah, like that is the most, re that is just so dumb. You know, like that is just so, so dumb. First off, don't run red lights anyways, but if you are gonna do it, then the only place that you're ever gonna do it is in the most secluded area ever, like the back, back country. There's a red light, there's no cars for miles, and then maybe you can get away with it. And I am not saying do that because I never do that personally. It's like, yeah, there's a light. I just, I'm always like, hey, I'm just gonna stick with it. I'm just gonna do that. This is like, literally, you're like mid downtown and there's a cop right next to you. Not only is it dangerous, it's just dumb. That is good, but that's even. Let's go on in. Come on, come on. Come on. Oh, no. 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 What a nightmare. That was so close. Yo, golf is so fun, but it is so hard. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie, I used to watch golf being like, how is this a sport? And then I tried it a couple times. It's impossible. Half the time, you swing, I don't even hit the ball. Like, that was just stupid. That was just stupid. I always hit my coffee cup over. I was so frustrated by that. <laughs> like, it wasn't even like a thing of like, they were in the blind spot and they didn't check. Like, that was just fully like, they were right beside you and you just decided that you were allowed to go there. Also, if you're right beside them, how did you not notice that it was a cop? Even if they're like, undercover, I feel like it's still, when you're right beside them, <laughs> it's kind of easy to tell. But regardless, I mean, cop or not, you shouldn't transfer lanes over into somebody else. That's how big steering wheels are now. <laughs> we see you, Karen. What? Oh my. What? Did she just hit her in the head with that thing? Yo, she literally just hit her in that. I have no idea what it is that they're saying, because like I think they're talking Spanish, if I'm not mistaken, but I literally, like the lady climbs over, and then just annihilates her in the back of the head with what looked to be a trash can or something. I have no idea what's going on here at all, man. Like this is this is a full up like clip that just makes zero sense. Talking a different language, they're doing shit I don't understand. Just uh, literally SMH, big SMH right here. No way. have got her an iPhone somewhere, right? Right? Good prank though. Better than a lump of coal, I suppose. Out. I'm trying to make a TikTok here. Oh, my bad. <laughs> Can you not lean on my car, please? Oh, this is your car? Yeah, oh my gosh, it's so, I love it. Oh my gosh, I love it. Um, Do you wanna go out? Uh, who are you? Who are you? Bye, Gold Digger, bye. Do you wanna go eat? Bye, Gold Digger, love you. bye. That one's fake, I think. I don't know. I feel like that one was fake. Cause also, why would you be taking photos on somebody's car when somebody's still in the passenger seat? That'd be weird. Also, they're gonna be in the background of your photo or your TikTok. She said she's making a TikTok or something. I don't know. But you know what I mean? I don't know. That's just weird. I feel like that one's fake. I'm getting fake vibes. Okay. Oh. Oh. I hate you. 
and then he just hit somebody. Wow. Literally, seriously, man. Thank you. I mean, like, sucks for the other guy who got hit, but it ain't that person's fault. It's the person who, who rear ended them. It's their fault, dude. It's literally, they're not paying any attention at all. They're throwing their sh out their window when they should be looking at the road and not littering to begin with because that's wrong. And then, boom, you got screwed for it, dude. I hope that it was, it didn't look like a big crash, but I hope it was expensive as all. Holy hell. Damn, that's a move that red car got in and didn't wait in this line and he got in damn it's the red one the red one <laughs> they're kicking it out Ooh, we love to see it we love to see it <laughs> oh my gosh also why is that line so long what the heck that's insane uh, there's no way I would be going somewhere else. Ain't nobody got time for that. Because I guess this in America, and America has way more people than we do in Canada. So is this what it's always like? Every drive through Is that what it's like? Someone let me know. You Americans. You're weird, but I like you. That is funny. That's very funny. That little baby is so cute. <laughs> I like when parents like do little things to their babies like that. Like where it's just like fun and they get so surprised because they're like, I don't know what water is yet. <laughs> Aw, little babies. You guys got any babies? <laughs> You're done, you're done, you're done, you're done, boys. I don't know if that's illegal or not, but like, damn, it's annoying. And the worst, like one of my biggest pet peeves is these people who have motorcycles who have like big cars with big engines and they get under a bridge and then they just think, you know what, I'm gonna rev the engine as as like much as it can go. You know, it's like, you don't need to do that. We're in the middle of the city. I, I have a specific bridge in mind that I'm thinking of right now that I always have to walk under and they always rev it like crazy and the, and the noise is just so much, right? And I know like, I sound, I sound old right now. I sound like an old dude, like, oh, like the noise, but it's so loud for every single other human being except the person in the car and I'm like screw you guys this is the worst oh my god so you do an illegal u-turn right in front of a cop also like <laughs> right in front of a cop <laughs> like no what you should not have been doing a u-turn you shouldn't have even been turning you know, it was just bad, all bad, all bad, all bad. That's why you gotta be on high alert when you're driving, man. You never know what other people are gonna do. You might trust yourself and think that you're a good driver, but you never know who else is out there on the roads doing UEs when they shouldn't be doing UEs, you know? Oh, what a silly video. I mean, yeah, say thank you. People don't say thank you. If somebody, if I'm holding the door for somebody and they don't say thank you, I just will say you're welcome. Anyway, make them a little uncomfortable. Well, I'm not trying to start a fight. I'm not gonna pick you up and bring you back out, but I didn't have to hold the door for you, but I'm a Canadian. <laughs> So I'm probably gonna, even if you don't say thank you, rude ass. You know when you're in that situation where you're holding the door for somebody, but like they were probably just a little too far away? Like they're in that zone where it's like, I might look rude if I don't hold the door, but then if I do hold the door, then they gotta do that awkward like half walk, half jog thing. And I feel bad because I'm like, oh, now you're moving quicker than you probably wanted to. <sighs> it's stressful. It's stress. Maybe I should just start being rude. Just holding the door for no one, <laughs> ever.
people are the worst sometimes. Ah, oh, I just like, I know sometimes you're late, you gotta rush to get somewhere, all of that stuff. I hate the anxiety of being late, but none of us have anywhere that's important enough that we gotta get there that fast where we should do things like this. Everyone's getting endangered by these activities. Look, now these police can't get by. That's not good. They're probably on the way somewhere. Important. We'll be the truth, all truth, and nothing but the truth under penalty of perjury. I would like to call. Ma'am, ma'am, stop. I know you want to control this room. Uh-huh. But this isn't Burger King. When the sign changes to Burger King, you can have it your way. Right now, this is my courtroom, and you will answer my question. Okay, I'm going to ask you right Stop! Do you promise to tell the what? truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth under penalty of perjury? Yes or no? Are you going to tell the truth? All right, I'll take that as silence. I understand her attorney is on here. Where is her attorney? She's the big lady. Oh my goodness gracious. This isn't bur I didn't even know what the lady wanted. You know, like that like was she asking for a for a sandwich? <laughs> so like did she actually want a burger, like some onion rings, some fries on the side? Like what was it that she was looking for here? You know, and why would the judge say that? This isn't Burger King. Like, is that what the judge looks at as just being like like a wild west anarchy level place? Like this isn't Burger King at least. This is like the worst things happen at Burger King. I you know, I rarely go to Burger King, so I wouldn't know. party ever <laughs> that's awesome oh my god I usually hate little games like this but I feel like I would love to play with this group of people <laughs> that was very fun I love it and I mean at least the game's over so who needs the chair anymore <laughs> hi everybody Lux is scared of loud noises let's get her hey baby you about ready to go yeah. awesome well, let's get to the store <laughs> <laughs> She's got good aim. That's so funny. Aw. Scared of loud noises. She didn't like that. Immediately though, she took it right off and threw it at him. She was pretty quick. Quick at the whip. Watch out for that one. She's ready. She's not messing around. Don't prank her. Oh, what? Wow. Well, that's just the worst. That's just the worst thing ever. Yeah, yeah, for real. Love it, dude. Love it. Cause you already know. Cause the problem with that is the person who the person who uh, cut them off, they wouldn't even be at fault if, if somebody hadn't seen the incident right away, right? Cause you look at it, uh, like you come like 10 minutes later and you're like, oh, well you hit him in the back. But you're like, yeah, but like he literally swerved in front of me. Like I, I couldn't do anything. You know, so the cop had to see it in person, which is just so beautiful. <laughs> You know what? Good for him for just knowing when he got got, you know? Oh, why don't you quit while you're behind? He did the thing and he was like, hey, you know, it's over. We're done. <laughs> Oh my gosh, they got him. Man, that's always, I'm always afraid of getting pickpocketed. I can't believe people do that, so shady. Also, they have to be so close to you. I think that that's maybe one of the reasons why I hate when people are standing close to me. Even when I'm in like a really public space, I still, if somebody was standing that close to me, I would have turned around and been like, can you stop breathing on my neck? Back up. <laughs> I think I'm too aggressive to get pickpocketed. Maybe that's a good thing. So that's what you chose to do today? No, it's not. Here in Snatched you know. Gas Para. <laughs> How are we gonna get her? 
That is How are we crazy, get her? y'all. Look at this. She's stopping the whole pump because she want to pump gas. And look. Oh, no, you she just swooped in on you? Yeah, she put her oh car in there. Are you kidding me? <laughs> no. I scooped up on you? Are you kidding me? Where is my car right there? Whatever. Wow. Yeah. Hey, brother. Man. You're kidding me, right? That's no, crazy. He's not. <laughs> he's not kidding you at all. Okay. Ah. So how is she going to get hers? I'm sorry. Hey. Like, you see this whole thing right here, bro? <laughs> you know what? You a better person. You know, I don't know. I'm just looking at this guy. It's funny. Yo, but I wanted to see her. Like, I wanted to see. I wanted to see what happened to her. Like, it, like it looked like she was just pumping gas. Like, it looked like that. What? That's what it was. You know, like, I, did, could somebody comment down below? Maybe I missed it. But like, where's the karma coming back to her? You know, because she stole the gas pump. Everybody's getting on her now. But like, can she just pump her gas? Is it more expensive? Can we stop the gas? How did we get her in the, why did we freaking get our revenge, man? That's what I want. I want revenge on these people. When shoplifters take all the Nike, but forget to unlock the door. Oh my God. Oh my God. See, don't do crimes, but know when you got got, she got got. Real bad. That's the world's worst getaway driver, for sure.